All right, everyone. Uh, I hope you listen very, very closely and carefully. It's June the 12th, 2012, and up on the screen here is Kim Walker and Jesus Culture. Now, the church today, um, the church is so quick to uh, come to a conclusion, to draw a conclusion, uh, to make assumptions, uh, without going uh, to a person that they feel uh, might um, be doing something either knowingly or unknowingly and say and confiding in them and I'm not talking about calling out false prophets and, and none of that and false teachers where you go to them in private uh, if there is something in the church uh, that is bothering you just don't run and jump and draw conclusions and make assumptions and come to a conclusion but uh, the person knew uh, what was going on. Again, this is Kim Walker, Jesus Culture. Now, over at our World Church at our live broadcast, uh, I look for praise and worship songs, and we play them before the live broadcast. And I had heard this song, uh, Oh How He Loves Us, and there is a part in there. And, it, and it, to me, it really didn't bother me a whole lot, and I want all of your opinion. But I want to talk about jumping and drawing conclusions without going to the person first. Uh, where she sings towards the end, Heaven meets earth like a sloppy wet kiss, and my heart turns violently inside of my chest. And I talked to another uh, YouTuber about this, and, and we're in agreement that, uh, you know, my mind's not in the gutter. When I'm hearing Heaven meets earth like a sloppy wet kiss, it's a, a metaphor. I'm not thinking uh, of sexual terms. Uh, I'm thinking maybe my my dog. I got a chocolate lamp. Maybe him giving me a big old sloppy kiss. I you know I, I'm not thinking anything wrong, and I don't have time uh, when I play praise and worship uh, songs. And there's this song is also done by a, a, a gentleman that has the same uh, song out. Oh how he loves us! But I don't have time to go into their background, to the band's background, and research what they practice and what they believe. So it's just assumed that I know. And I will not play the song again, but I want everyone's opinion. Because now, I guess, um, without consulting in me first, I play the song, and a lot of people are, oh, um, he must be have demon spirits around him. And nothing could be further from the truth. I honestly thought it was a praise and worship song. It's got like uh, 7,648,963 views. And at the end, uh, she's asking for all the hearts to be open to you, God, to you. And I just thought it was a praise and worship song. I work a full-time job. I have my uh, YouTube ministry, my inner city outreach ministry, our world church open uh, every day of the week. And I was just, I just look for songs to play. And I honestly, honestly did not You've know any mail. background on Kim Walker and Jesus culture. Now I did a little bit of research and now I agree and I'm not going to play this song anymore but I want your opinions on what you know about this group. I seen a um, it's on YouTube I think if you just type in Kim Walker testimony and she's talking about a little tiny Jesus and it's really getting weird it's getting strange that I was unaware of and his arms are stretching out like a, a Gumby doll and God appeared to her in a vision and he took his heart out and he started took a piece of his heart out and he started molding it and he was laughing and he put it in a box and it was it's really really out there and really strange and I guess they're into some weird um, and correct me if I'm wrong because I didn't have time to do a lot of research but some weird beliefs uh, where they're acting out certain uh, biblical events um, I found this. Let me see if I can find it real quick. Because I also want to bring this to your attention, and I want to um, stress that I had no idea about any background on Jesus culture when I played the video. And no, I, I am not uh, have demons around me. Warning: Jesus culture 2012, Brazil, Colombia, New York, LA. Another Christ, a different gospel. Um, and I'm going to put the link to this below and. You guys can read that because if this is demonic I sure don't want any part of it and I don't want to play it but what I'm talking about is let's not be so quick 
to draw conclusions and jump to conclusions that because I played a song, um, I'm going to put that link below for you, that I knew, and I must be part of this movement, and, and <laughs> I had no idea. I mean, it sounded like a praise and worship song to me, and I don't have time to go to all the artists and dig into deep into their history. Now, I would have much rather known, and someone confided in me, and, and oh, and then I'll make a, an apology, as I'm doing now, a public apology. I, I had no idea. Uh, no idea. I thought it was just a praise and worship song. So, the message here is, the link will be to that other article in the uh, show more section, description box, and what is your knowledge of Kim Walker and Jesus culture? And maybe we should bring this to a lot of people's attention, because I was fooled. Uh, maybe if I would have done my homework and research, but... Uh, I really don't do that when I'm uh, in a hurry. I'm getting ready uh, to go to our live broadcast, our live service, and I, I play a praise and worship song. I don't get into the backgrounds. Uh, maybe I should a little bit more, so maybe it's a lesson learned. But I had no uh, idea of any demonic, uh, ungodly uh, practices coming from a Kim Walker or Jesus culture. So whatever you know about this, leave me a comment. But let's let's learn brothers and sisters to not just draw conclusions and jump to conclusions that well pastor dave must have known he's played this song so he must be in agreement and following this movement and he must have demons you know let's not jump to conclusions let's not draw uh, a, uh, a conclusion go to the person and say did you know god bless everyone what do you know about jesus culture and kill Walker? leave me comments god bless you